10% of our revenues now um, and going much faster than what's happening here in the US. Um, and, and you know, there we did a hundred million dollar precision medicine initiative here in the US, they did a ten billion dollar precision medicine initiative in China. You know, when they move, they move, right? And so uh, I truly think that, you know, and I said this to the board too, that uh, China will be the largest genomics market in the world. And that, you know, the debate in our board was, well, a lot of American companies have gone to China and failed. There is a long list of companies that haven't been successful there. And so is it worth it? And my point is, whoever wins China is going to win the world because it is the biggest market. You cannot be a player and not be in China. And so, you know, we're going to go there. And yes, it's tough. And yes, it's complicated. And yes, there's no such thing as a short conversation about China. But we kind of have no choice. Right? And so I am really excited about you know, the caliber of the work that's happening in China from a research perspective, you know, the pace at which they're moving from a clinical perspective. So I think we'll see a lot of our growth internationally and specifically, I think, China. Yeah? Uh, I'm a urologist that deals with male infertility, so I thank you because I use uh, the genetic information all the time in the work I do with patients. And one of the things we're getting more involved with is epigenetics and the 3D confirmational changes that can be impacted by environment. And I'm anxious to hear uh, if uh, Illumina is looking at that and how you might be positioning yourself. Yeah, you know, we are big believers in a, the importance of understanding uh, the epigenetic profile uh, of a patient, especially for certain conditions. Um, we have offerings around understanding, you know, uh, you know certain parts of the epigenome. Uh, but much more we do it through partners. And so what we want to do is enable a broad ecosystem of partners uh, that focus on that space. And so, you know, there are a couple of things we do. One is we want to enable partners that offer more specialized offering on our sequencers focused on epigenetics. And then on the back end through base space, what we've done is allow the ingestion of epigenetic data too. And so you can start to present a holistic picture of an individual based on both the epigenetics and the genomics of that patient. 